Okay, this is fifth grade lesson 49, and this is on solving two-step problems. So you're basically like word problems, okay? So um, listen to this, okay? It says Howie, Howie is five years older than Robert. Okay, I'm just gonna, I just want you to listen to the problem, then we're gonna decide what to do with it, okay? Howie is five years older than Robert. Robert is three years older than Sally. And Sally is 15 years old. How old is Howie? Okay, so I'm going to write down the most important information so far. Howie, Robert, and Sally are the three people that were mentioned. There was only one definite number mentioned that tells us how, how old someone is. Do you remember which one had it? No. Sally did. Okay, so listen to this. Howie is five years older than Robert. Robert is three years older than Sally. Sally is 15 years old. That tells us a definite. We have to know the definite in order to answer the rest of them. Okay, so we know that Sally is 15 years old. All right, now, they want to know, the question for the problem is, is how old is Howie? So... That's we need to know. They don't really care about Robert, but it's probably going to help us when we try to figure out. Okay? So listen to the story. Howie is five years older than Robert. So I'm going to put Howie is plus five Robert. You understand what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. Okay? And Robert is three years older than Sally. Robert is three plus Sally's age. Okay? So how old is Robert? Uh, 18. Okay. Now, Howie is five years older than Robert. So if Robert's 18, 19, 20, 22, 23. Howie is 23 years old. You got it? You see how I did that? Uh -huh. So the most important thing is that you write down a definite. We have to have a definite. And then work your way trying to figure out from the other informations how to figure out the rest. Okay? You want to try another one? Let's try another one. Alright? It's also important that I wrote down all the important information because that helps me as well. Okay? Listen to this story. This is A on your problem, your lesson practices. So we're going to do A together. Okay? Okay. Ryan's basket could hold 80 eggs. Ryan basket holds 80 eggs. Okay, Ryan's basket could hold 80 eggs. Ryan picked up 32 eggs in the first hen house. So I'm going to draw a little hen house. Put a one because they said the first hen house. I figure they're going to tell us a second in a minute. He picked up 32 eggs. Okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, Ryan picked up 32 eggs in the first hen house and 29 eggs in the second hen house. 29 in the second hen house. How many more eggs can Ryan's basket hold? Um, what should I do? Uh, like, what's it called? Subtraction? Well, what are we going to do? I just count up from 29 to... Well, first of all, we know that he picked up 32 eggs, and then he picked up 29. So... So we need to find out how much total he has so, so added, far. Mm -hmm. So I would do 32 plus 29. 9 plus 2 is 11. 3 plus 2 is 5, 6. He's got 61 eggs at this moment. Okay. And the question, well, it tells me that the basket can hold 80. So how many more eggs can Ryan's basket hold? Um, 21? Close. Uh, uh, let's see. You're counting up, which is really subtraction. Okay. So you're 19. taking, yes. So you're taking 80 minus 61. And as you can see, it's going to be 19. Very good. So you counted up 61 to 80, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. 
So he can hold 19 more. Excellent job, okay? So that's lesson 49.